Yo, um, yo, for the record, um, I want to drop, I want to say two things in this, like, um, I'm not looking to be perfect, I just want to get my messages across. I don't want my platform to seem like it's a show. It is a show, but it's more, the message is more important than anything. I'm not here for the show, I'm here for the go. I'm not here for the show, I'm here for the go. So, next topic is, um, people and, um, how you judge a man and how you um, differentiate your friends from your enemies or enemies from friends or sometimes it could be in between you never know you know you never know so um, there's this guy uh, Hassan Campbell he's one of the content creators on YouTube I listened to one of his um, videos and he said uh, people on social media, uh, a lot of people on social media only wanna, they want a front row seat for your demise. They just waiting for you to downfall, waiting for your downfall. So what he was saying is, they basically are, are following you just to watch you fail or watch you, you know, it's like a leech. It's like a person who, uh, my brother once said, uh, you have people that are, uh, what you call that, sympathy, uh, it's like people who, not sympathy, um, it's like they feed off, uh, he called it something porn, something porn, um, it's something like, like a pain porn, it's like they, they feed off your pain and they're just happy to see you fail, and I do believe that most human beings have jealousy in them and envy because it's only natural to feel jealous and envious but when you actually take it to the part uh, or take it far as to where you when somebody is down you start to feel up or you start to feed off of that in some form of way then I don't know what to call those type of people but there's so many different people on this earth that um, that's why I don't um, follow the conscious movement no more you know, I passed that stage. Like, yeah, it's different stages of life that you gotta go through. And uh, I, I've been past the conscious stage a long time ago. It's just when it became popular, I came back to it because I actually thought that the people was ready to um, change their ways or ready to move, but that's not the case. The people are just, uh, it's just a trend. It's just another fad. So, um, when you um, judge people, and um, when you deal with people, the only thing you could do is just focus on yourself and what you need to do. You know, because you don't know who's who and what's what. You know, people, it's a lot of people on my platform. They waiting for me to fail. They seen me fail. And they cheered. And they was happy. And, they, and some of them would ask me if I need help, knowing that I'm not even going to ask them. Um, some of them ask me if I need help, knowing damn well they're not going to help me. They just want to be the voice of concern so that I can remember them in my head. Because people know I'm not going to ask for help if I don't need it, need it. And it's only a core group of people that I would actually say, yo, I need that, you know. Um, so these people know what the people know what they're doing, man. Trust me. Even your friends. There's people that's going to hate on you because hate is natural. But when you hate into a degree with focusing energy on uh, that person, like I'm in an environment now, I'm in a barbershop right here, and I feel like it's energy focused on me to keep me back, so I have to fight back. I have to fight and come back. If they all come to peace and say, yo, we're going to work together, then we'll work together because I know I'm going to get mine. So whoever I cut is going to be my client or gonna be, I'm gonna be their backup barber or whatever. So I'm not worried about me getting mines. I'm worried about those people that's stopping me from getting mines. And I need to identify them. That's why I'm making this um, blog. You need to identify the, the core enemies because you know once you start identifying them and you master that, you will start identifying the subtle ones because the subtle ones are the ones you really have to find out in the long run because they're killing you slowly. They're killing you while you're sleeping. They're killing you while you're eating. 
and they're all around you and you allow them to be around you and you allow them to soak up your energy and you allow them to dump energy back on you that's bad so you have to be aware of them and they will expose themselves when you are um you know at your worst or maybe at your best either way when you're doing real good they'll probably show it when you're doing real bad they'll show it as well by not being there for you when you need them to be and when you're doing real good they just hate hate to the point where they can't hide it don't you notice when people are eating they they could stomach you if they're eating but if they're starving that's how you know who's who and what's what a starving friend no matter what is always going to be a friend they're always going to look out but um a person that's um starving and they're enemy inside but you can't tell they will expose themselves one way or the other by lashing out on you so you need to find out who those people are and um but when you find out what they are you don't take anything out on them this is the key you don't take anything out on them you just keep them at a distance let them play what position they are supposed to play and you just take the energy that you was giving them and invest it back in yourself that's it because basically if you're the good person and you're putting in good energy towards somebody and helping them and then they turn around and stab you in the back you in turn could take all that you was given and just put it back in your bank you understand and a lot of good people are dishing out all kinds of energy to everybody else and they don't put it back in themselves and invest in themselves and treat themselves you know take care of their body go to a gym or or work out outside or whatever that makes them feel better get a massage get stuff like that people are so busy in relationships and fighting things at work and and at home and not paying attention to what they're lacking mentally and physically which is bad that's why the world is off balance and it's a lot of people with mental health issues even average people walking around got problems and are off balance and they're so busy focused on work work takes a lot out of you as uh you know work take a lot out of you in general but when you can't focus on yourself because now after work now after work you got to go um focus on some next dude or next female or next people that want to soak out of you it, it becomes draining it's not something that you want to do you know, um, that's why I was saying to identify these people and get rid of them. That's why I also made a video saying that it's good to be the lone wolf sometimes. It's good to be a loner, embrace it. But when you embrace it, you just spend time fixing the things that you need to fix. Stop thinking about why you're alone, or what's going on, or you need somebody in your life. No, you don't. You need you in your life because you're born alone and you're going to die alone. So just focus on the things that you need to get done and get them done. Because at the end of the day, you're born alone and you're going to die. All right. You're born alone and you're going to die alone. So you don't, nobody owe you nothing in reality. Nobody owes you the goddamn thing. You're not entitled to nothing. And that's just life. Focus on what you got to do. Get it done. And those people around you they will fall by the wayside anyway because you're 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 concentrating on yourself and once you just concentrate on yourself people will fall apart the enemies and the people that's taking you down won't have time for you because you won't be around them too much because you're too busy folks that when you when you dis when you're dispensing your energy from everywhere for everyone to grab it that's when you create problems for yourself because there's so many different scoundrels out here there's so many different scoundrels and vicious animals and demons that's just waiting for you to open up that energy bank because they need it they need the money they need to refuel and it could be family friends whatever it is so just remember that all right remember that carry on